Hey everybody, hey, hey, hey. Okay, so a common problem that I run into when I am painting furniture is this. I will get this beautiful piece and it will um, be like that dark, dark wood, like the veneer. The veneer is so terrible about this. But it'll be that dark veneer and then I'll go to paint it and it'll bleed through. And sometimes it won't bleed through immediately. It can take like a couple days. Don't spray right now. Okay. Dad's car's there. It'll spray paint the car. Oh my God. Um, so the paint, it might not bleed through immediately, but it might bleed through a couple days later and it comes through pink. It's terrible. Um, raise your hand if you've ever painted anything and that's happened to you and it's daunting and you're like, oh my God, I'm going to need 5,000 coats of paint. Well, have no fear because you can shellac. I'm going to show you guys what I used. First of all, I'm going to show you this cute little bed that I've been painting. So how cute is this bed? Adorable little Jenny Lind bed, little twin size. I mean, I haven't seen a twin size bed in forever. It's like an American Girl doll bed to me. Um, but you, this is going to go in a baby's room and the little sisters are going to share a room. The baby's due in July. How cute. But look how smooth this finishes. That's what I love about painting. Um, I love the super smooth finish that I can create. I just, I love it. But okay. So when that happens, and don't pay attention to over there because I'm painting a million things and our yard's still being done and there's Aspen. But see, we even have a track hoe in the yard. Okay, so this is shellac and this is what you want to use when you have those bleed through problems. And all you're going to do when you do this is just, you know, say I want to cover up this blue spot here. I'll just go over it like that, like so. And then I'll put my primer over that and then I'll put my paint over it and you want to let it dry in between. Um, but that will put a band-aid over it to stop your paint or your veneer from bleeding through. So then the other thing that people run into a lot of the time with veneer is it'll peel and then it'll look uneven and that actually will a lot of people will throw furniture away when that starts to happen or they'll give it away or if that's how you know whatever um all you need to do when those little pieces of veneer are coming up is throw some wood glue on there you don't want to put too much hold it down and clamp it and uh if you don't have clamps then you can use just something flat and heavy whatever and Put your wood glue on there and it'll be good as new but do not put too much wood glue and also do not let this freeze and then try to use it because it won't work so i just wanted to give you those tips you guys this little bottle of shellac which will last for quite some time um was only about seven dollars so super cheap way to avoid having to put coat over coat over coat and to avoid having a pink bleed through on white furniture so all of you have a great day